Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, I'll talk about setting up On One Photo Raw with Stability AI. This is one of the AI models you can use with Generative Erase or Generative Crop. Uh, it's not required, but it is an option for you. And uh, I'm not going to go into all the differences between the two models in this video. I have different videos on that, different videos on Generative Erase. All those links are in the show notes. I will remind you if you are thinking about getting Photo Raw 2025 or any other on one products, check the show notes. I've got an offer code down there. It'll save you money, won't cost you anything extra, gives me a little bit of support. So, Stability AI, one of the different models you can use with On One's AI tools. There's a few things you got to do if you want to leverage this as part of Photo Raw. And the first step is you need to create a Stability AI account. Stability AI is a cloud-based service, so you need an account to use that service. Uh, and you go to stability.ai and you'll find on the home page a Get Started With API. This will take you to the Stability AI developer platform. You're a photographer, you're not a developer, don't worry about this. On One makes this part easy. You're going to head up over into the right corner and hit Login. And if you have an account, great, you're already done with this part. If you don't, you'll click this Sign Up part. Follow the prompts on the screen, ask the typical stuff, email address, set up a password and so forth. You might be asked to verify your account. You get one of those emails and you click the button and, and just verify, yeah, I'm who I say I am. And you've got yourself an Stability AI account. It doesn't cost anything to open up an account. The second step you need is to get your API key. This is the thing that you'll use to tell on one. Here's how you use Stability AI as you as the photographer. So uh, let's say uh, you've got your Stability AI account, you've logged into it. Let me show you where to get your API key. So once you're logged in, your, your icon turns into a little profile there. You'll click on that, and right here in the center, you'll see API keys, and you'll just click this little copy to clipboard button. You don't need to see what it is, it's obscured for reasons. You want to keep your key to yourself, just like you keep the keys to your car and your house to trusted individuals. You keep your key for Stability AI to yourself, copy it to the clipboard because the last step is going to be pasting it into On One Photo Raw and then you're going to be done. So let's go ahead and do that last step. Take a photo from your library, open it up into the edit module. It doesn't matter if you're doing any edits, you just want to get into the retouch tools. So open the retouch tool group and from the toolbar we're going to choose generative eraser and then open the gear menu and you'll see you have stability and local gen AI. You choose stability AI and paste in the key that you copied from stability AI account. Once you've done that, you're all set and now you can use stability AI as one of the AI models in Photo Raw. Do check out the other video I have about the differences between local gen AI and stability AI, everything from which one does better to some other considerations about using stability AI. Uh, it's not a free service, it is a cloud service, and depending on how much retouching you do, you know, eventually you will start to pay for that service. So check out that other video for more details about Stability AI, but maybe you came from there and you just wanted to get set up. Well, here you go. You're, you're all set to, uh, to try out Stability AI with the generative erase and generative crop tools in Photo Raw 2025. Any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. Until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.